Morgan Freeman has appeared in such films as Driving Miss Daisy, Glory, The Shawshank Redemption, and The Dark Knight Trilogy. Frequently plays characters with calm demeanor. Shin often provides narration for his films, as either himself or the character he is playing. Morgan Freeman joined the Air Force after high school to become a fighter pilot. He later realized it wasn't what he'd wanted. After years of small parts and limited success, he's now one of Hollywood's most respected stars. Early life born on June 1, 1937, in Memphis, Tennessee. The youngest of five children born to Barbara Morgan Porterfield Freeman Sr. and schoolteacher Mame Edna, Freeman was raised in Chicago and Mississippi in a low-income home. Not long after he was born, Morgan's parents, like so many other African Americans struggling under the pressures of the Jim Crow South, relocated to Chicago to find work. While his parents looked for jobs, Freeman remained with his grandmother in Charleston, Mississippi. At the age of six, Freeman's grandmother died and he moved north to be with his mother, they later moved to Tennessee and eventually back to Mississippi, where May Medna settled her family in Greenwood. It was by chance that he got into acting. He was in junior high school. For punishment for pulling out a chair from underneath a girl he had a crush on, Freeman was ordered to participate in the school's drama competition. To his surprise, and probably school administrators, the 12-year-old proved to be an immediate natural on the stage, taking top honors. But while Freeman loved to act, flying, in particular the idea of being a fighter pilot, was in his heart of hearts. Upon graduating high school in 1955, Morgan turned down a drama scholarship and joined the U.S. Air Force. Freeman was relegated to on-the-ground activity as a mechanic and radar technician. He also realized that he didn't want to be shooting down other people. I had this very clear epiphany, he told AARP magazine. You are not in love with this, you are in love with the idea of this. In 1959, Freeman left the Air Force and tried his fortunes out west he moved to Hollywood to see if he could make it as an actor. He took acting classes and struggled to find work. In the early 60s, he moved to New York City, where more petty day jobs and nighttime auditions followed. It was 67, the same year he married Jeanette Bradshaw, Freeman's big career break came when he landed a part in an all-African-American Broadway production, Hello, Dolly, starring Pearl Bailey. The national exposure followed in 1971 when he appeared regularly on The Electric Company, a public television-produced children's TV show that focused on teaching kids how to read. Television proved to be a grueling and demanding life. Despite some stage work, including a Tony-nominated performance, the mighty gents in the late 1970s, Freeman couldn't seem to break into movies like he wanted. When The Electric Company was cancelled in 1976, Freeman saw himself staring at a career that was far from grounded. For much of the rest of the decade, Freeman took on roles that earned him some acclaim, but not the big, powerful jobs that would garner a list attention. There was a part in the 1984 Paul Newman film Harry and Son, and he was narrator for the TV miniseries, The Atlanta Child Murders among other roles. By 87, Freeman's fortunes changed when he was cast in the film Street Smart, the role proved to be huge success for Freeman, earning him an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actor. Film critic Pauline Kael even went so far as to ask out loud, is Morgan Freeman the greatest American actor? Two years later, Freeman earned more acclaim, a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor and a second Oscar nomination driving Miss Daisy. That same year he also starred in Edward Zwick's critically acclaimed Glory, a drama about the 54th Massachusetts Infantry Regiment, which was one of the first recognized African-American units in the Civil War. By the 1990s, Freeman was riding high in his career, starring in such big-budget films as 1994's The Shawshank Redemption, 7, 1995, and Deep Impact, 1998. With his booming voice and commanding presence, Freeman was a natural to play God in the 2003 comedy Bruce Almighty and its 2007 sequel Evan Almighty. Recently, Freeman appeared in Red. 2010, a surprise box office hit. He narrated The Conan the Barbarian, 2011, and capped the Batman trilogy with The Dark Knight Rises. Freeman has several films upcoming, including the thriller Now You See Me, under the direction of Louis, Louis Leterrier and the science fiction actioner Oblivion, in which he stars with Tom Cruise. He made his debut as an actor at the age of nine, playing the lead role of a school play. He attended Broad Street High School. Morgan Freeman's net worth is estimated to be roughly $200 million as of 2019, 
and he's currently starring in the upcoming movie The Nutcracker and the Four Realms. <laughs>